الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آ ویری گڈ مارننگ ٹو آل آف یو آئی ایم اے میتھس ٹیچر فرام اسمائل یو سروسز اسکولس ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹیچ میتھس فار کلاس ایٹ لیٹس بی اسٹارٹ اوور سیشن بائی شیئرنگ آف انسٹرکشنس آئی ڈونٹ یوز ہینڈس ڈیورنگ ٹیچنگ آس کوشچنس ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دا سیشن آن لائن چیٹ باکس یوز اینڈ فری اف یو آر یوزنگ موبائل اینڈ ہیڈ فون فار کمپیوٹر یوز فیڈ یور آئی ڈی اینڈ پاس ورڈ پراپرٹی ود یور نیم اینڈ کلاس ٹیک کیئر آف ٹائم فار اٹینڈنگ دا کلاس ہوم ٹاسک شوڈ بی ڈن ان یور فیئر کاپی آف دا سبجیکٹ اف دیر از اینی ڈس کنیکٹیوٹی ڈیورنگ دا ٹیچنگ ٹرائی ٹو جوائن سیشن اگین ود ان فائیو ٹو ٹین منٹس As you know, this is the lesson for class 8. The subject is mass. Uh, today we will discuss unit number 1 that is sets. This is the lesson number 1 for uh, uh, that uh, unit. And uh, in this lesson, we will take exercise number 1.1 to 1.2. Today date is 11th January 2021. Uh, now the topics of the day. Today we will discuss definition of the set with examples, some important sets, symbols of the set theory, types of the sets. Symmetric difference of two sets, then D Morgan laws, properties of the two or three sets, and at the end we will take what are Venn diagrams for the above mentioned topics. The first is uh, set theory. So uh, we think that what is a set? According to definition, a set is a well defined collection of objects. Means. Uh, uh, we can make a set by taking uh, different objects, but they should be well defined. Like uh, planets of our solar system, we are all well aware by the planets and we, uh, then colors of rainbow. We know uh, uh, what is a rainbow and how many colors in it. Capital uh, cities, then uh, another example is all bubbles, interesting books, favorite uh, food of children, good schools of in India, then favorite uh, flavors of ice cream. And another example is uh, set. Uh, you know, whenever we want to uh, show a set, we need capital letter. Then uh, write uh, the uh, all members or the objects within the braxis. Mostly we use curly bracket for representing the set. Then write all members separated by comma. In this way, we arrange or we write the set. Now we will see how to uh, show or mention uh, a set. This is known as notation of a set or the representation of the set. A set can be described by the following methods. We are going to uh, share how to describe a set. For that we have following methods. The first one is tabular or roster form in which described a set by counting means here we uh, can describe our set by taking uh, different uh, objects uh, in the form of counting like uh, uh, set a equal to one two three four dash dash uh, here you uh, will uh, you you can uh, see that set is labeled by capital letter then all elements are enclosed within curly brackets they, the elements are separated by comma and they are written in the form of counting. The second is descri descriptive form. In it, describe a set by a statement or by words. So uh, you should uh, keep in your mind that uh, for descriptive form, we need uh, any type of statement or words. For example, set of natural numbers. If we, if we want to show the same set in the form of a descriptive uh, set, uh, form, we can write set of. Set of in the place of braxis, we write set of, then identify what uh, numbers are there. We know they are natural number because they are started by one, so we write natural numbers. So overall we say set of natural numbers. The uh, third form is set builder or rule method described a set by using symbols for representing this set in the form of set builder we need some symbols for example the above mentioned the above mentioned set can be uh, represent uh, in the form of a, a set builder so for that we write bracket then write x this is such that x belongs to n means uh, such can be any number but it is belongs to it it belongs to uh, uh, set n means natural number 
So in this way, by using symbol, we can write or we can describe the set. Some symbols are used in uh, set theory. Uh, there is a list of symbols used in set theory. The first one is U, that is used for union. If you see that symbol is uh, given between two other uh, alphabets, so consider that we have union. If U is given in inverted form, it is known as intersection. Means uh, for union, we have clear idea. Here we are going to join all sets and intersection we are going to write common element of the sets. Then capital U. Capital U used for universal set, a set in which all type of members or elements are given. The next symbol, this is belongs to. When uh, this symbol is given, we read as belongs to or member of. Uh, the next is the same uh, the same symbol but with this line it means does not belong to whenever you see the symbol this you have same symbol but over the here we have a line we read as do, does not belong to the next symbol is proper subset of after that we uh, have this symbol this is representing subset or uh, is contained in if over this symbol if you have a line it means not a proper subset of it means the line is representing not meaning of not if the symbol if the symbol is same but we have the line it means not a subset or a not, not a subset of or is not contained in the next is a with a we have uh, a means and uh, name of any set over that if we have a small uh, dash or or that dash can be written as C it means complement of a set so C is representing complement of the set then the new symbol or uh, empty bracket so we read empty bracket or null set or white set so this type of bracket or this symbol in having meaning empty set or null set or white set so there are three meaning for that next is n into a this is number of elements in set a so n is representing number of number of and this is the name of the set so we read as number of elements in set a the next is p into a p is stands for power set of a and the last is this uh, this is not a, a triangle it is uh, uh, whenever you see this uh, type of symbol this is normally read as a delta but its its meaning in set theory is a symmetric difference now we see some important uh, some important sets which in which we need in describing the set following notations will be used for sets of numbers number one is set of natural numbers means uh, if, if we have natural number uh, for natural number we use capital n for the name then within bracket we write one two three four means natural number started by one and so on the next is set of whole numbers uh, as we have whole numbers we take the first letter that is w so w means whole numbers whole number will be started by zero this is the main difference between natural and whole number natural number started by one whereas w or whole number started by zero the next is set of integers set of integers means set of integers in it is representing by z and uh, number 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 means here we will note all positive numbers or negative numbers don't think that this set start by uh, 0 no this 0 means all positive the position of 0 is the central and on right hand side all positive number will be written and on left hand side all negative number will be written so that's why we write 0 then plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on keep in mind 0 has central position on right hand side of 0 all positive numbers will be written and on left hand side of 0 all negative number will be written then set of positive prime numbers 
for prime numbers for prime number we use capital p and the numbers are 2 3 5 7 1 you know according to definition prime numbers are those which have only one factor for them they are uh, i mean uh, 2 1 2 3 1 3 5 1 5 7 1 7 11 1 11 the next will be 13 and so on so these are prime numbers so for that we use capital p and then keep in mind the first prime number is 2 set of odd numbers next is odd numbers uh, for odd numbers we use capital o uh, for uh, representing the set o is representing odd number odd number means the numbers which cannot be divided by 2 it means a uh, 1 3 5 7 9 and so on as the number can be positive or negative so that's why it is again it it is again written in the form of uh, or uh, started by the zero but doesn't but don't think that the set is started by zero keep in mind zero position is central on right hand side all odd number will be written and on left side of a uh, zero all negative number will be written the next is set of even numbers even numbers are those even numbers are those which can be divided by 2 exactly for even we use capital e and the uh, number will be written 2 4 6 as then the number are given in plus and minus sign so that's why we write 0 keep in mind its position is central on right hand side of 0 all positive even number will be written means plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 and on left hand side of 0 on negative number all negative even number will be written any minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 the next is a set of rational numbers rational numbers are representing by q and uh, the set uh, cannot be uh, written uh, it will be written in the form of set builder so we write x such that x belongs to p whereas p upon q means uh they these numbers can be written in divide form p and q belongs to z and q is not equal to 0 this is the condition the set of irrational numbers irrational numbers representing by q dash or q prime and uh, again it is written as x belongs such that x belongs to p where is p uh, upon q p uh, and q belongs to z and q is not equal to 0 the last is set of real number real number for real number we use capital r and we write r is equal to q union q prime here is prime means when we combine these two sets we get r set r or the near number means all type of numbers are including in set r so it cannot be written uh but we have all type of numbers all type of numbers means all positive all negative all fractional number all decimal numbers all radical signs are including in set r so that uh, it means it cannot be written in tabular form this is a question number 1 from exercise 1.1 in which use both tabular set builder forms to specify the following sets i am taking here the two that is set a and set c the given is set the set of positive integers greater than 2 and less than 6 in tabular form the number positive integers means we are taking positive numbers and they started uh, the number which is greater than 2 and we know 3 is the is greater than 2 so we write 3 three over here and the last number about last number they say and less than 6 means uh, if 6 is the last number it means uh, 5 is the is less than 6 so that's why we write here 3 4 and 5 the numbers are separated by comma uh, and uh, we represent this form this is a descriptive form we show that one into tabular form means in the form of counting then according to instruction the next is set builder form for all numbers we say x such that x belongs to z means we know uh, here we have positive integers uh, for integers we have the name of the set as z so that's why we write here z so the first statement as x such that x belongs to z then put the comma the symbol is specified for and the uh, according to instruction the first uh, limit is 2 so we write here 
that is less than x and x is less than 6. So uh, in, in, in second statement, we, uh, we write the first limit. Then if this is less than, so we write here, you, uh, we write here less than sign, then the number which is we suggested x and the last limit that is the given in the set. So in this way, we complete the set builder form. Uh, uh, see the set of natural numbers between 4 and 12 uh, between 4 and 12 natural numbers means they which are started by uh, 1 1 so we have understanding now according to limit between 4 and 12 so 4 greater than 4 is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 10 11 is the last number because we are noting between the numbers between 4 and 12 so they are 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 in the form of set builder form um, we write we uh, give all numbers as z name we say these all are z it doesn't mean they belongs to set Z. No, their num for these we select the name as Z. Z belongs to Z. Z such that Z belongs to N. This is the set which, which is representing the type of the um, elements. So we write here N, L, uh, natural number. Then and 4 less than Z and Z is less than 12. Means we write the first limit and add here the last limit. Now there are some types of sets are given in your syllabus. The first one is empty set. Empty set is representing by uh, E or any other name and for it we use uh, curly bracket only and within the bracket there is no any element because according to definition we know the set has no any element so that's why we draw only the curly bracket without any element or the same uh, the same uh, set can be representing by this symbol that is phi phi so it can be representing null set and if you want to show how many number in set e are given so we write here zero because we observe here no any element is given The next is a singleton set. The single singleton set is that in which only one element is given. So for singleton, we use S. It stands for singleton. Equal to, we can write any number because according to our understanding, it has only one element. So if we want to show how many elements singleton set has, we write N. Uh, number of n into s means number of singleton set equal to 1 because we have only one element the next is finite set this is uh, a very familiar uh, term set f is the set of counting numbers less than 6 uh, thus uh, we know according to definition the uh, finite set are those in which lim uh, limited numbers are given or the or whose limit uh, is understandable uh, like a set f is given uh, uh, they say uh, it is the set of counting numbers less than six we have the limit six and because uh, so we can uh, write the set in tabular form as f equal to one two three four five because we know less than six are five numbers that is one two three four and six and six is the natural number so that's why we write one two three four and five now how many numbers are given in this set so for that we write n into f numbers of set, uh, ele uh, numbers of element of set f there are five next is infinite infinite set infinite are those whose limit is not known so for that set n is the set of counting numbers if you read this uh, uh, this uh, uh, given set it is representing n n means natural numbers is the set of counting numbers but no limit is given over here so that's why we write n natural for natural number equal to one two three dash 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 means this is showing unknown limit the next is equal the next is equal sets equal sets are those 
equal sets have same elements. So keep in mind they have same element. Set E is the set of letters in the word earth. We are using this letter earth. So E is equal to E comma A comma R comma T comma H. Set H is the set of letters in the word heart. Uh, take this word heart. It is also having five elements. So it can be written as H equal to H E A R T. It means both set E and H having five five elements. So it means E equal to H means set E is equal to set H. Now equivalent sets, equivalent sets have different elements but have the same number of elements. According to its definition, uh, their elements um, are different but their numbers are equal like set F and set H. In set F, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 elements so it is uh, it can be written as number of set F equal to 5 and H having H E A R T again five elements are here so it can be written as n into h equal to five but their number are equal so that's why f is equivalent to h this symbol used for equivalent so keep in mind according to definition their element can be different but their number will be same so in this way we write we can write uh, f is equivalent to h Next is universal set according to definition. Universal set is the set containing all elements and of which all other sets are subsets. It means if we have U, it, it has A, E, I, O, U, all vowel words and set A and B. Set A has A, E, I, means A, E, I, all element of set A are present in universal set. The uh, B, B has I, O, U, all element of set B are uh, given in un uh, universal set so it means a and b are the subset for universal set another example is that set u is the set of counting numbers like uh, a b and c three sets are given a set has one three five seven b has two four six but in c one two three four five six seven eight nine ten numbers are given so c is representing universal set and we observe b and a are the subset for uh, set c so set C is the universal set for A and B set. Now the subset. Uh, set A is a subset of B if any, if and only if every element in A is also an element in B. If we observe uh, a set A is a subset of B if we observe that all element in set A also the element of set B set B. We write A, a subset of B. Keep in mind this is a symbol for subset. Now uh, we have an example list all the possible subsets of set A uh, like uh, A uh, has SIR three element so we can ma make its uh, subsets like SIR, SIR in separate uh, sets then uh, SI, then SR, then IR, then MT. We observe that all all sets or all elements of the sets are present in set A. So these all are subset for A. The empty set is the subset of every set. Keep in mind the empty set will be a subset for every type, any type of set. Now, in a, uh, there is a, how many subsets does, uh, does set A have? Uh, we have example set A is an element R, S, I, R. Uh, number of uh, element of set A are 3 so we use the formula 2 cube the actual formula for finding the number of subset is 2 raise n n is the number of elements so for this example this n is replaced by 3 because set A has 3 elements so we write is here 2 cube now 2 cube means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so when we multiply them uh, having answer 8 so that's why we here we observe that eight sets are given proper subset next definition a set a is a proper subset of set b 
if there is at least one uh, at least one element in b not contained in a a uh, proper subset is that when we observe or uh, when we compare the two set and we observe uh, at least one element is not given in other set we say this is a proper subset and the proper subset is representing a by using this sign keep in mind there is no underline so it is proper subset sign the according to um, uh, example set a b c and d are given set a has a h a b i t b has a b i t means these all uh, elements are given in set a c has b i t all elements of c are given in set a c has i and t its two element are given in set a it means we can write b is the subset of a because all element of b are given in set a so we write b is the subset of a uh, all element of c are the member of set a so we write c is the subset of a then d is all elements of d are given in set a so it is the proper subset of uh, a now list all the proper subsets of set a again we have the same example of set a its subsets are number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 we already discussed all so how many proper uh, subset does set a has so uh, for that we write a and i that set then number of uh, element in set a we observed there are three then use this in the formula 2q minus 1 actually the formula for finding uh, proper subset is 2n 2 days n minus 1 this is a proper formula for finding proper subsets so we write 2 days n minus 1 n is the number of element so we write here 2 day cube at the place of n at the place of n we write a uh, cube because we observe in this set there are three elements so we write 2 cube minus 1 2 cube means 2 multiplied by 3 time having answer 8 minus 1 giving answer 7 so we already observed here there are seven proper subsets so it means by using the formula we can verify it super subset a set containing all of the elements of an other set means set a is a super set of b if every element in b is also in a uh, if we observe if we compare the two set like a and b and we observe all the element of b are also the member of set a so we write as a is a super set of b for super set we use this symbol we already discussed proper super set uh, a is a proper super set of b if a is the proper subset for b and a is not equal to b uh, keep uh, this condition in mind a is not equal to b we have set a and b its element are 1 2 3 4 5 and its element is 1 2 and 3 so we observe we say that b is the subset of a and a is super set for b now the power set the set of all the subsets of a Uh, set. But uh, what is the definition of power set? We say the set of all the subsets of a set are the are known as power set. Uh, for example, if we have a set S, its element are S I R. Then what is the power set of S? For that, we can write uh, all subset for uh, the power set like that. But for finding, we can use the formula that is. Number of power set of S equal to two uh, cube equal to eight because here uh, we observe that number of element are three. We write here three and uh, uh, open uh, or uh, uh, multiply uh, two by three time having answer eight. Now by making their numbers, we observe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight set are there. The the uh, are the subset of all. and all sets are enclosed in these curly bracket so it means we have done all upper subsets for the given set or these all are known as power sets now symmetric difference uh, 
for symmetric difference uh, we have discussed in symbols it is uh, the uh, we use uh, delta for showing symmetric difference there are two condition for that a delta b equal to a union b minus a intersection b the second condition is a delta b equal to a minus b union b minus a what is uh, uh, symmetric symmetric difference in symmetric difference we compare the two set we uh, i will explain its definition beside the question question if a if i has 5 7 9 9 and 11 b has 3 5 7 and 9 then find a delta b equal to a union b minus a intersection b we are going to verify the first condition so first of all we take the um, uh, here a union b is given so we write a union b we write set a union sign then set b and uh, for union we have good understanding we are uh, we make or we join the two set uh, but uh, write all elements in a sequence so that's why we write 3 5 7 9 and 11 and we observe that 5 and 7 5 7 and 9 are the common elements so they will return at one time uh, only uh, and all the numbers are written in a sequence in a sequence the next is a intersection b right set a intersection sign then b and here we uh, for intersection we know take all common elements so we observe 5 and 5 7 and 9 are the common elements so we write 5 7 and 9 now a delta b is equal to a union b minus a intersection b according to the given condition so we write and uh, write the uh, answer for union then minus sign will same then answer for a intersection b now we uh, about this uh, minus sign we, uh, we have clear understanding we compare the two sets and find what are the common element then we write uncommon element of the first set the first set is a union b 5 7 and 9 are the common element we drop them and uncommon element are 3 and 11 so we write as 3 and 11 this is the next question in which uh, uh, set a has 1 2 3 4 b has 2 4 6 8 then show that a delta b equal to a minus b union b minus a so we take the uh, left hand side we write a delta b write the two sets and here we observe that 2 and 4 are the common element we drop them and then we write the all uncommon element of both so in this way we have 1 3 6 and 8 they are the uncommon element of both in this way we have found the uh, delta or the uh, difference uh, symmetric difference between a and b uh, consider right hand side here we have a minus b union b minus a right a minus b right the set a minus sign set b two and four are the common so we uh, drop them and uh, write down uh, uncommon element of set a that is one and three b minus a two four six eight 1, 2, 3, 4, then uh, 2 and 4 are common and uncommon for, from B is 6 and 8. Now, A minus B union, B minus A, we write the result of A minus B union, the result of B minus A and make their union. And this way we get 1, 3, 6 and 8. Now write the result. We observe that the answer for left hand side and right hand side are equal. In this way we have proved. Now, De Morgan laws, there are two a union b whole complement equal to a complement intersection b complement or the a complement a intersection b complement equal to a complement intersection b complement there is a question a union a universal set is given taking left hand side a union b whole complement first of all we find a union b write the set a and b with union sign and make their union and uh, then find a union b whole complement whole complement means we subtract the a union b from universal set so that's why we write u minus a union b write this uh, universal set then minus n then set a union b uh, compare these two and uh, drop the common element the uncommon element are 8 9 and 10 now right hand side on right hand side we have a uh, a complement intersection b complement so we find a complement uh, whose meaning is u minus a means write the universal set minus set a subtract this and getting the result for a complement then b complement means u minus b write a universal set minus uh, set b uh, then get this answer so the uh, in third step a complement union b complement we write the result of a complement and the result of b complement and find their intersection the intersection means their common element are 8 9 and 10 so it means left hand side equal to right hand side now the properties of union and intersection of two or three sets there are uh, three properties commutative 
property of union that is a union b equal to b union a commutative property of intersection a intersection b equal to b intersection a associative property of union a union into b union c equal to a union b union c associative property of intersection a intersection bracket b intersection c equal to a in union b intersection c uh, the third one is distributive property union over intersection that is a union bracket b intersection c equal to a union b intersection into a union c this is the uh, distributive property over uh, intersection over union is a intersection uh, bracket b union c equal to a intersection b union b intersection c for commutative property there is a, an example set a and b are given then verify we take the left hand side find a union b you know uh, write a set a and b and find their union then uh, b un for b union a write the true set and uh, uh, find their union we observe that the left hand side and right hand side are equal associative property of intersection uh, inter uh, for intersection we use intersection sign we write a union into b union c or a union b uh, into b union c so for uh, that we have three sets uh, we find a union b means uh, we have uh, we have a bracket so we uh, find firstly uh, it and then find uh, its uh, its result will uh, make a union with a in this way and get the answer then uh, consider right hand side on right hand side we have a intersection b intersection c right uh, uh, the result for uh, bracket intersection is there find their intersection then make intersection with c write the answer of uh, a intersection uh, b with c we get this answer in this way we observe that left hand side equal to right hand side now the distributive property distributive property will be done on the same pattern here we uh, write the property get the uh, take the three sets then first you uh, find the bracket its result then make its result union with the uh, a and getting this answer uh, for the right hand side we observe a union b a un uh, union c is uh, given a union b will find then a union c will find and then make their intersection we get we observe that the left hand side equal to right hand side now distributive property of intersection over union for that either uh, a property then uh, take the question find the left hand side for left hand side first you solve the bracket then uh, in this way and then uh, write the answer with the uh, intersection of a same work will be done on the right hand side and we get the same answer now it's time for sharing the uh, Venn diagram you will uh, uh, see there are uh, two circles in each one the, the, these are different cases for the uh, Venn diagram so according to your need you can uh, draw Venn diagram according to your need now the home task because uh, for the home task uh, do question number 17 18 and 20 of exercise number 1.2 in your fair copies the uh, the exercise is given on uh, page number 12 of the book uh, note question number uh, 20 for question number 20 verify de morgan's laws by both statements you have uh, you have uh, seen that for de morgan or two uh, laws are given you will verify completely the uh, third instruction is that to develop your own sets according to each property uh, you have uh, seen there are three properties so you will select your own uh, sets and then find uh, three properties completely then question uh, solve question number 1 to 19 from exercise number 1.2 page uh, given on page number 12 different cases are given in this in in these questions you will do then the last is uh, if a is given b is given c is given then verify the properties of 1 to 4 uh, properties are given on page number and uh, 8 and 9 these all work will be done in your fair copy now thank you for attending the class allah hafiz take care of you.